Phoenix Control. I need a permission to land. Lord Vader is expecting me. Grimhex Control here. Your permission is granted. You can land on landing pad 01. Lord Vader, I'm approaching to Grimhex right now as we agreed. I have highly sensitive data you requested, my lord, and I'm ready to drop it off to cabin number 6. I repeat, cabin number 6. I've been waiting for you. Now, hide the package and leave Grimex. If you fail me this time, it will be your last. And before you go, make sure to like and subscribe, or else you will feel the power of Dark Side. Hello citizens and welcome back. So after this short intro, I want to show you one cool spot here in Grimhex. I am sure that all players already have knowledge about this hideout, but still, I want to share my thoughts on this and uh, how can we actually create some cool gameplay around this in the near future. While exploring for this secret cabin, I have discovered something else, but uh, stick with me through the end uh, and I will share this discovery with you. Okay, so let me take you to this hideout. It is actually very easy to find this spot. You just need to follow the signs here. I will stop in front of the landing pad markers for a second so that you can easily follow the right path. You basically need to go to landing pad 3 and 4. Once you get there, just uh, go in the middle of these pads. You will see these two lines here. Turn around and go off the landing pads. Go down. until you see a white lightning stick and uh, here you go a cave entrance once you get inside you will discover a small cabin with number 6 on it Remember the pilot from the intro saying uh, it will drop off the data pads to the cabin number 6? Well, here it is. Now, uh, I'm not sure why I can't enter inside this cabin since there is uh, some sort of uh, invincible wall, but imagine if we can get inside, have atmosphere and actually use this for drop-off location. I think that uh, that would be a cool gameplay feature. I hope this will be possible soon when our things actually start to persist. It seems some sort of a fight happened here since we have uh, some bullets, uh, some bullet holes on the doors and inside of a cabin and uh, some blood too. So I think uh, Verse needs to have a hideouts like this where we could uh, actually leave things for other people. Something like smuggling gameplay, you know? Now, I have discovered another interesting thing and for that I need to take you back to habitation area inside Grimhex. But before we do that I need you to pay attention to some of the details here. You see this hole above number 6, a crack on the right side of the door entrance, bullet holes on the floor near the blood, there is a bullet hole here too. So I need you to remember these things for a minute or two until we jump back to habitation area inside of uh, Grimhex. Here we are inside Grimhex. Okay, we have like four big rooms with sleeping cabins where you actually wake up every time you are on Grimhex. I want to check all four rooms and see if uh, cabin number six is missing since we saw it down below the station. Let's check room number one. Yep, cabin 6 is here. Let's go to room number 2. Yes, cabin 6 is here also. Let's go to next one. Cabin 6 is here. 
and the final roll. Well, cabin 6 is here but uh, in a different state than in previous rooms. If you look closely it is very similar to like the one in the cave below the station. Same bullet holes on the door, uh, we even have the bullet shells here. Crack on the right side of the door entrance. Inside we can see that everything is uh, just like in the cabin in our secret location plus we have a yellow caution tape here, which is something that is missing from the cabin in the cave. So here it is, a little investigation video if I may name it like that. I don't know uh, if anyone else noticed this and I'm not sure how is this room connected to the one in the cave below. What do you think? Is there any connection between these two cabins? Please feel free to leave your thoughts and comments down in comment section. I uh, hope you find this information useful and if you do please like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you all.